Okay, guys, I'm about to set up my uh, jig for my my wings, and um, I'm using a laser to determine the straight line. So basically, this is what I'm going to set up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, here are the jigs. Step one is to draw a straight line, and so that's why I used my laser. I want to make sure it was getting straight. Um, so I'm doing that and marking off these measurements as indicated in the plans to set up the jigs. In setting up my line measurements, here's what I did. I just took a little piece of scrap wood and placed where I wanted the uh, measurements to begin. I uh, just kind of tacked them in there with a wood screw and then that way I can use my uh, my tape measure as all one long piece to make my measurements and that way there's no second guessing. I know these, uh, these measurements will be accurate. So, so far we've got a laser line and we've got the tape measure and then once I get everything uh, marked off then I'll remove this little piece of scrap wood here. Okay guys I've got the uh, jig set up according to the instructions and uh, this is just kind of an overview. I did use the bondo like the instructions suggest and I used little diagonal braces. I cut those on 45 with my saw and uh, put them all on this laser line here. So there you go looking through them. They all look pretty good. I need to double check them with a uh, string run through the water line up at the top. But uh, they should be pretty good. I've double checked and check, check and double check to make sure I've got them straight and plumb. I did have to put a little bit of shim in some of them. Um, just because the table's not perfect. So, alright, so there we go. This is what they look like. So the next step is to uh, glue together the foam blocks over there and uh, put those in there. One thing I've done is I've run a plumb bob from my water line 17.4 all the way down to make sure that it is perfectly vertical. And you can see the plumb bob is now hitting my mark here, which is a plumb plumb or water line 17.4. So, so I know that these are perfectly straight. Okay, so today, basically all I've done is laid out my foam. <clears throat> I got this uh, these foam cores from Eureka CNC. They do a really nice job, and I'm so glad I didn't have to cut those by myself. Um, there's no hair on these things or anything. There's really nothing to do other than glue them together and um, then we'll put them in the jig. But uh, first of all I gotta glue the segments together. But at least I've got them laid out today. It took me a while, believe it or not, to figure out which part went where. Some of them weren't numbered and so it's kind of like a giant jigsaw puzzle with, a, with 13 packages that you had to open up over there. <laughs> anyway, got it all together so I know where they go. So. Next step is to glue these things together. I'm going to look on the internet tonight, see if, see what everybody's doing as far as gluing these uh, these foam cores together. Uh, I don't know if there's a faster way or, but anyway. So that's all I got done today, which is not a lot, but at least I know my jigs are straight. They are perfectly plumb. I used a plumb bob. There's no way a plumb bob is going to be uh, not accurate. So. Anyway, got the jigs on, got them on the table, so looking good, moving right along.